Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to drive a NEMA 17 stepper motor or NEMA 23 depending on your needs and how to set the amount of steps and direction. In this example we are going to use 20,000 steps and a preset direction. We are going to control it with the stepper motor driver A4988 and stepper motor driver shield but for your project you can also use any other driver like DRF8825 and for changing the direction you could also use some button or a timer. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5 which is really amazing for professionally made boards. On their website just click on the get instant quote and you will see how much the PCB will cost. They also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. The link will be in the description so go and check them out. So for this project you will need a stepper motor NEMA 17, a power supply for the motor, a stepper motor driver shield, stepper motor driver like A4988 or DRF8825, some jumper wires, Arduino board and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Add toggle flip-flop component. This component will be used for making the steps for the motor. Add digital value component. We are going to use this component to set the direction for the motor. Connect flip flop 1 pin out to Arduino board digital pin 2. We are going to use this pin for the steps, so if you are going to use any other pin, please connect it to that pin. Connect digital value 1, pin out to Arduino board, digital pin 4. We are using this pin to set the direction for the motor. Now in the properties window you can also set the value from false to true. It depends on what direction you want it to spin. Now add pulse generator component. With this component we are going to set the speed for the motor and of course generating the steps. In the properties window set the frequency, in our case it is 1200, but you can change this number according to your needs. Also select enabled and click on the pin icon and select boolean sync pin. This will allow us to stop the motor when the steps are reached. Now add digital multi-source component. and connect pulse generator 1, pin out to digital multi-source 1, pin in and connect digital multi-source 1, pin 0 to flip-flop 1, pin clock add counter component with this component we are going to count the steps Now add compare integer range component. This component will help us determine if the amount of steps is reached.
select compare range 1 and in the properties window set include limits to true and set the number of steps under range max value in our case it is 20,000 steps and set min to 0 now connect counter 1 pin out to compare range 1 pin in and connect compare range 1 pin out to pulse generator 1 pin enabled and connect digital multi source 1 pin 1 to counter 1 pin in now if we take a look what is happening here we can see that pulse generator 1 is putting pulses to the digital multi source 1 and this component is dividing the pulses to to the flip-flop one for the motor and on the other hand it goes to the counter one where it counts steps and sends it to the compare range one which which determines if the amount of steps is reached this means if the amount of steps is within the range from 0 to 20,000 the output will be true so the pulse generator one will be enabled and once it is beyond the 20,000 the signal from the compare range one will be false so pulse generator one will be turned off at the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile build and upload button 